Hello and welcome to the last lecture of the second module in the online course Design Thinking for Engineers. At uh, the end of this lecture, you will be given an assignment and uh, you will be working this assignment throughout with me uh, in this throughout the online course, the other modules as well. And only upon completion of the uh, assignment and uh, proper grading, you will be given the certificate of completion which is very valuable in the current market scenario as I told you in the previous uh, lectures. So in this lecture, I'll be talking about how you will be interacting with the customer, the client, the people who you are going to address and how to maintain a good rapport, a good relationship with the customers. There will be a couple of videos in this lecture as well. And uh, we'll start with the basics of how you are going to interact with the customer. The first and foremost is the body language. Ensure that your body is on the same level as the person you're interviewing. If they are sitting on the floor, sit beside them and if you are if they are working at a market, stand and face them. You should have a good relationship, right? You should have a build uh, if there is going to be a person who is going to sit and question you, won't you feel a little uh, angry? It's the same uh, reaction for them as well, right? So, interact And uh, maintaining eye contact is very important. It creates a very good trust among the person you are interacting with and uh, the people you are interacting with because eye contact is a show of confidence that you are confident and able of doing a task given by them and uh, try to maintain eye contact as much as possible. Taking notes of what they are saying is again very important. Uh, literally, you have paper, pen, and notes. You have notes. You have to interact with them. And the next would be observing and learning. You have to observe. You have to talk to you should let them talk first and then you should respond. You should observe what they say. Don't listen just for the sake of replying. Listen to understand and remember what they say deeply. So that is going to be a very important uh, task actually. It's a kind of a task. You can succeed in the venture that you are about to start. And uh, conversation starters. So a lot of people uh, talk to me, right? So they appearing to pay some bother. They don't know how to start a conversation. For example, any if you're going to talk to your crush, you need a good conversation starter, right? So what do you do? You go to your friend and ask her on how to start the conversation, right? So on the worry lama or proper or conversation start every pan longer the Romukyo. So if they are going to be working on a particular task the moment you approach them. You can start by asking questions related to the task. Start with questions. Questions are a good way to interact with the person. So it shows that uh, you are interested in what they are doing and you care about them. So try to ask questions. Try to be uh, empathetic. That's very important. And uh, conversation wouldn't uh, start because first impression is going to be our best one. So, interviewers are select interview else you will be having an expert who has a really good language and uh, characters are person select panni. Are you going to send that person to the particular uh, customer and interact with him? Or is it going to be you yourself going to uh, go to that uh, client and interacting with the client? So proper, you will be uh, selecting, recruiting your experts and give them the uh, questions that you must be, uh, they must ask on your behalf and uh, let them know how much of that time you will need. If you are going to have a friend who is going to, uh, who needs a couple of hours to complete a task, you need to give them uh, their time and as well as you must say that this is going to consume a lot of time. So, proper question. If you ask a client, they will get irritated, right? So, your question should be relevant and to the point. So, I guess we will be having a video on how to be customer centric. 
there will be a couple of videos so you can watch them now We call but reach the customer's voicemail. And actually, reaching your customer's voicemail is more of a probability than a possibility. Chances are very high that when you call a customer, you get his or her voicemail. So instead of being disappointed or even surprised when you reach voicemail, why not expect it? And more importantly, prepare for it. Have your message planned out in advance so you'll leave an effective message and get value out of every call. Ah. You know, Jim Scott's overdue to get a call. He's a good customer. I'm going to call him now. Hi, this is Jim Scott. I'm either out of the office or on another call. Go ahead and leave me a message. I'll return the call as soon as possible. Hi, Jim. It's Joe Martin from Wichita Widgets. Uh, you had ordered some of our titanium widgets a few months ago, and I'm checking in to be sure they're all doing what they're supposed to be doing. I want to make sure that uh, everything is well. I'll follow up with you again in a few weeks. However, if you do have a question, feel free to call me at 316-838-2222. Again, that's 316-838-2222. And it's uh, Joe Martin with Wichita Widgets. Good Thanks. message, Bye. Joe, and great delivery. Upbeat, happy, and smiling. Now, Joe has a list of folks who have purchased from him, and he's keenly aware of the importance of staying in touch. Oh, sure, we all tend to follow up with the people who buy lots from us, but in truth, it's important to touch all your customers in some way a few times throughout the year. No one likes to be forgotten. Now Jim knows Joe is thinking about him. And here's an important step. Joe's also going to do what we have labeled as sandwiching. Sandwiching is using two channels of communication in order to help make contact and get your message heard. It's good because what Joe will do now is get a quick email off to Jim right after his voicemail, letting him know he's thinking of him. And sandwiching is extremely effective because we never know which touch point of communication our contact will be using first. Leaving a voicemail sandwiched with an email is our attempt to get value out of every call, even when we don't reach the person. Here's Joe's email, which he sent following the voicemail message. It's short and sweet. Hi, Jim. Just left you a voicemail and wanted to cover all the bases to see how the new widgets are working out for you. Trust all is well. We appreciate your business. I'll talk with you soon. Best wishes, Joe. Reaching the customer with a phone call is not the only way to communicate. What's important is you... So, if you want to interact with the customer, you would have learned how to interact with the customers. In the next video, you'll be uh, looking out uh, on how to maintain a good relationship as well. Hi, um, I've been trying to get in touch with your office to return these, but nobody seems to be Have actually you driving. Have emailing us? Uh, yes, I have emailed. Okay, well that's all you can do. You have to email it through and someone will get back to you when they can. What would be the time frame? That well, it's, it's to up to them. To That's not in my department. I can't help you. You need to do it online. So is there someone that you might be able to ask no, that would sorry. be able to assist? Can't help you. It's all done online within our online team. I don't know what more you want me to do. Uh, is there, maybe you could ask somebody if they could help with well, this? Well, no, because I'm the only one here and I haven't had lunch and I can't leave. So you're just going to have to... Go back online, wait for someone to call you, and go from there. This isn't my area. If you want to buy something, I can help you. Okay, this is terrible customer service. Is there not a manager or someone that I can talk we to? We do have an on online chat room that you can lodge a dispute with, but I don't have anyone here that you can speak with. Okay, well, I'll need to follow this up with someone then. Thank you for not being helpful. Okay, great. Thank you so much. That's not a problem. Have a lovely day. Bye. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Good, thank you. Uh, I'm just wondering if I could return this, please. Um, I've 
bought one for my husband on the weekend and he's already received it. So is it possible that I could get a refund for that? Yeah, absolutely. Had you lodged something online yet? I did, but nobody seems to have gotten back to me yet, so I thought I'd just pop into the office. Okay, sorry about that. Usually our turnaround is 24 hours, but I can definitely help you with that. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, I'll just look up some of your details here. What was your name? Cherie Montgomery. Perfect. I can see you purchased that on the weekend with a credit card and would you like that refund back onto the credit card that would be wonderful wonderful i can take care of that from here and you'll receive that within 10 business days is there anything else i can help no, you with? that's been wonderful thank you perfect Talk. have a great day bye so that was a video from odyssey training maybe they are into customer service and uh, there are a thing or two you must learn. If you are looking, looked into the, uh, this video especially, in the second video you would have noticed that the lady stands up the moment she comes. So, so that is a very important uh, thing in treating the customers. Your client or the people you treat And uh, so yeah, this is going to be the end of uh, the second module. And... Uh, it's time to uh, tell you guys the about the assignment uh, because the assignment is going to be the only grading thing that uh, we'll be having to give you the certificate of completion or a certificate of merit if you have done the assignment really well so here's the assignment this is going to be a really important one as well the assignment is going to be since you are all in house we clear kadnala you need to interact with the people in your house or maybe the people who come to your house maybe your sanitation worker or, or maybe a grocery uh, shop lady or a person so avangaloda neenga vandu interact panni maybe via call or something like that you need to uh, list out the problems they face interact panni use the empathy map use the mind map in the rendu vishayatha use panni neenga vandu ungaloda maybe it can be even your parents it can be even your brothers sisters and the mari neenga yaar kuda venalum maybe even your friends call them up know if they have any issues it can be even your teachers your hods avanga kuda kuda neenga pesi avanga enna problem face pandranga abingiradhu you must identify after identifying you must come up with the empathy map as well as the mind map so in the rendu vishayo you should be having with you during your submission in april on april 14th so april 12th i guess if uh, if i'm not uh, wrong it's april 12th and idala vandu irukano in the vishayathala vandu ninga ipo start panninga na ipo second module pannumbodhu namma vandu and empathy map la next level ku epdi polam abdin ninga side by side ipo inda lecture oda seindhu ninga side by side ninga adha pannikittu vandinga na உங்களுக்கு அந்த ப்ராசஸ் வந்து ரொம்ப ஈஸியாக இருக்கும் யூ ஹவ் ரியலி குட் லேர்னிங் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் ஆஸ் வெல் ஸோ யா அண்ட் தட்ஸ் தி அசைன்மெண்ட் ஐ டோல் யூ தி அசைன்மெண்ட் ரைட் நவ் ஸோ தட்ஸ் தி எண்ட் ஆஃப் மாடியூல் டூ இந்த மாடியூல் த்ரீ வில் பி கோயிங் டு த நெக்ஸ்ட் ஸ்டேஜ் டிஃபைனிங் த ப்ராப்ளம் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் த ஐ கெஸ் தட் வுட் பி அ ஷார்ட் மாடியூல் ஸோ வில் லுக் இன் டு தி நெக்ஸ்ட் மாடியூல் இந்த கப்பிள் ஆஃப் டேஸ் ஸோ பை கைஸ்